So celebrating the 16th anniversary of BMO's first art competition. We have been privileged to celebrate and share with Canada and the world the works of 211 new and emerging artists from post-secondary institutions from coast to coast to coast. My piece is about home, it's more so about Horizon and as an islander, Horizon is a big thing, like the ocean is all around you. Every time you go out the door, you see the horizon. So this is a piece that I took where I found a set of old encyclopedias in the garbage and was really entranced with the idea of knowledge being rendered useless. It was good to have my work validated and to have other people be a witness to it. This piece called Venetian Blind. Um, it's just something that I was uh, working on just looking at behaviors, maybe unhealthy behaviors, trying to uh, address them and work on them. En fait, euh, cette pièce est euh, davantage euh, une hommage à ma grand-mère qui euh, est décédée. Puis euh, le, les cheveux euh, signifient en fait le détachement culturel. My wife, grandmother told me about the uh, Coldet and my my grandmother told me about Coldet and they they were using Coldet as a warm warm or or cooking. That's what they use it for. The piece is uh, a relief jigsaw print. It's a panel print, so it's made of 42 different prints. Being a BMO first art winner, it's an amazing opportunity to see the work up again um, in a different context, um, to meet a lot of really other amazing young artists from across the country. Some address emotional health, self-acceptance, and the importance of community, while others explore and critique our feelings and fantasies around the notion of home. All are exceptional pieces by talented new artists. The vulnerability of having to undress and having people see and judge bodies without fully undressing. So everything is showing, but there's a little bit of humor left in the sock that's left on to keep me from being fully undressed in, in the image. It's a bunch of people, they all kind of look different. Some of them are like, you know, talking to each other, some of them are looking away or at each other. It's just a, a big old group of people. I went through a process of um, deconstructing images of the dream home from my home. So some of these images that you see are uh, images taken from advertisement videos um, about houses in my neighborhood. My piece actually developed from an ongoing interest in uh, our relationships with objects and particularly possessions as objects that we live really closely with and the way that we tend to imbue them with memory and experience and all these different things that extend beyond their function. A lot of my work deals with like different kinds of simulations, like simulated material and uh, trying to express like the tension between digital and physical. And so a lot of that sort of came out in this piece. I crafted 100 porcelain symbols and then I had friends with me who, some helpers that were loading, continually loading symbols onto the drum kit and then I would smash them and it took uh, nine months to man manufacture them and eight minutes to destroy them during the inaugural performance. Donc ma pièce c'est opère littéralement euh, une transposition tridimensionnelle du médium de l'écriture. Euh, chaque objet représente des lettres puis euh, le tout forme un poème. Euh, les, les verres sont supportés par des tablettes qui sont traversées d'un fil rouge. Euh, puis dans cette dans cette œuvre là ce que j'essayais de, de, de faire, c'était de créer une confusion entre le sujet et l'objet et de créer un nouveau langage visuel. Euh, je me sens vraiment honorée. Euh, j'ai pas de mots pour euh, pour décrire cette expérience. Je sens que ça va vraiment m'aider dans mon dans mon futur et dans le développement de de mes futurs projets.